Let's get going with this big question. Did the former Conservative MP Raheem Jaffer sell access to the Prime Minister's office? Those are the uh, explosive new allegations coming out in an article today in the Toronto Star. The Star claims that on the September night that Jaffer was arrested for drunk driving and cocaine possession, he allegedly bragged to a group of business associates, who, by the way, are actually under police investigation for fraud, that he could gain access to government money, no problem. All this took place at a party that allegedly included prostitutes. Now, one of Jaffer's associates allegedly boasted that Jaffer had, quote, opened the doors of the prime minister's office for business. Jaffer has denied the story. But did he use his position as a former MP and his marriage to the cabinet minister, Helena Georges, to peddle influence? Why was he still using the conservative logo on his business website as early as this morning? Is the PMO implicated in this scandal? Dimitri Soudis, the Prime Minister's press secretary, has dismissed the allegation as false and absurd. He joins me now to get more on this. Good to see you, Dimitri. Good to see you too, Evan. Toronto Star alleges that Raheem Jaffer was at this booze-soaked dinner at Toronto restaurant with business associates, uh, prostitutes, uh, with a guy named uh, Nazim Galani, who's apparently under investigation by police. According to the report, Galani says, sends an email saying, quote, Mr. Jaffer has opened up the Prime Minister's office to us true or false well um, true or false it's false uh, and it's very simple as to why uh, because you know who you know in the PMO uh, stopped existing from the first day that this government took office uh, accountability transparency uh, is something that we take very seriously and that is why uh, just a couple of months after uh, forming the government we introduced the Federal Accountability Act which one of the key things that it does uh, is it created a new uh, independent uh, commissioner for lobbying uh, who has a very strong mandate uh, and very strong purview uh, to investigate any uh, type of wrongdoing. So a bunch of guys sitting in a patio uh, in Toronto uh, pretending that they have access to the Prime Minister's office uh, is completely absurd, uh, and, well, it's, and it's false. But it's not just a couple of guys. Raheem Jaffer, who was a former MP, he's married yep. to one of the, the ministers in, you, you know, Helena Georges. Uh, uh, by the way, look at this website. Uh, we have a picture of Raheem Jaffer's website, which we checked out today, showing, you know, it had the uh, connections to the um, uh, Conservative Party logo on it. It just got taken down today as this whole kerfuffle. And, and that's the Conservative Party that actually asked uh, Mr. Jaffer, but, to remove the but Conservative why Party was logo. It still there because clearly it He's a private citizen. He's now a private citizen. Uh, but but as far the as the government. Monitor, monitor the, uh, the, a spouse and a former MP, Conservative MP, who's still using, using the logo to promote his business? The, the government of Canada and the Conservative Party uh, don't engage in, in, in intelligence uh, and, and spying on, on what private, private citizens but, are but doing. He's not. The, the bottom line here. But he's connected and, and this to is, a minister, though. I mean, it is well, something he's, when he's, he's got a website. He's married, to, he's married to a minister of state. But the bottom line here is, and if you do read the Toronto Star article today, it's, it's an email from, from this gentleman, Jelani, uh, who uh, says that, you know, Mr. Jaffer opens the doors to the prime minister's office. Let me tell you very clearly that the doors to the prime minister's office are padlocked for those that want to pretend uh, that they have any influence or want to peddle any influence. But is he uh, using his connections and his marriage to a minister in your party to, to make money? And if so, should the government have known about that earlier? Well, should Helena Georges have informed the government? What, what private citizens pretend uh, they have uh, is, is, is something that they have to be accountable for. As far as the government of Canada is concerned, uh, Mr. Jaffer, as a former member of parliament, uh, has no influence as to what... Uh, the Prime Minister's office or the Government of Canada uh, ultimately does uh, in terms of, you know, different projects. Uh, these are done by the book. These are done in a way that are transparent, accountable. But, but, and that is why we put forward the Federal Accountability Act but, to put an end to this type is, of... But the question is, was it really being enforced? Check out, this is, this is on the website. I want to show you another thing. This is from the website of Green Power Generation Corporation. Mr. Jaffer... Uh, provides the company with business expertise and industry finance in order to help them secure support from the Canadian government. He plays a crucial role in business development and marketing through his countless relationships developed from his former career as a politician. Mm -hmm. Did he, was he back on the hill with his wife ever? Was he tr using his former connections ever to, to get business? Definitely not with the Prime Minister's office.
with, with anyone? Any well, the, 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 the Toronto Star headline today uh, talks about opening the doors of the Prime Minister's office. And like I said earlier, uh, the, the, this, is, this is absolutely ridiculous uh, to think that the Prime Minister's office's doors uh, are open uh, to such things. Should, uh, it is should absolutely it, okay, ridiculous. Okay, but should, the minister, should a minister, Helena Georges, his wife, have told the Prime Minister's office, by the way, my husband's still using the logo, by the way, on his business, he's touting his connections to the government to get business. Shouldn't Well, former she, MPs, she have, former MPs are former MPs. Uh, you know, if, if you get defeated or if you're no longer an MP, uh, that doesn't change the fact that, you know, on your resume or your bio, uh, it, it's part of... But is it it's acceptable to say he's using his former relationships to help secure support from the Canadian government? Uh, I can assure you that uh, the fact that he's a former member of parliament bears absolutely uh, no impact uh, but to reach United, uh, on his future just, endeavors. Just, just Does Helena Georges have a responsibility to say her spouse, Raheem Jaffer, had a responsibility to inform the government about this? Because it looks bad for you guys. You, you know it. Should she have informed you? Well, Mr. Jaffer is his own individual. Uh, he's an adult. Uh, and every th all his actions are accountable to him. Uh, but the question we are addressing today is... But he's married to a cabinet minister. Does he have extra... Does she but, have but, a responsibility but, to make sure her affairs personally are in order in order to make sure that she doesn't embarrass the government or her spouse embarrass the government? Like I said, Mr. Jaffer is an adult. Uh, and, and the Toronto Star story today uh, talks about uh, an email that was sent to somebody else after that uh, patio... Uh, gathering uh, that the doors of the Prime Minister's office were open. I can assure you and I can assure okay. all your viewers that there is a padlock on the Prime Minister's office's doors when it comes to anybody who pretends that they can influence or peddle their influence, which they do not Okay, have. here's what Mike Lignatyev had to say. Comment on this. Let's listen. What promises did he make of access? We need the whole story here. This is, this is a government that comes in in 2006 promising integrity promising openness, promising transparency. And here they are in uh, some very serious allegations that go to the question of the integrity of this government. And the government should answer. It's not just a matter for Mr. Jaffer, in other words. It's a matter for Mr. Harper. It's a matter for Mr. Harper, not Mr. Jaffer. It goes to the question of integrity. What other promises did he make? Should we now know those promises and have to investigate? Well, maybe, maybe Mr. Ignatiev, due to the fact that uh, he was uh, uh, out of the country for the last 24 years, uh, or maybe he chooses to for let me let me just complete this thought uh, or he chooses to forget the fact that today we're talking about a bunch of people sending emails and saying that they have access to the prime minister's office which they don't maybe mr ignatiev forgets the fact that when his party was in office these weren't allegations these were facts. Okay, where but, who but you know in the to, PMO. We've, we've, you know, we're but talking we've been about, around that merry-go-round before. No, but that, but, but you, you we, cannot but throw stones. Point, you you cannot throw he, rocks when you're in a glass house. And the Liberal Party of Canada just, just because, uh, has, is, is, is a very bad example but, for accountability, for transparency. Do, do, uh, and, and, but and is, for, this all, uh, is this also a bad example? I mean, whether people in glass houses, we're now, let's, let's talk about the now. Is no. this a bad example, though? Does the government and the Prime Minister have to answer questions about exactly what Mr. Mr. Jaffer promised to sell. Well, Mr. Jaffer can promise. Allegedly. M Mr. Jaffer can promise what he wants. Uh, at the end of the day, Mr. Jaffer has had no doors to open in the Prime Minister's office. Does this reflect badly on Raheem Jaffer's wife, Helena Georges, already a very controversial minister? You know, you know why. Will the Prime Minister ask Helena Georges to resign? Well, I, I can tell you that uh, the actions of our relatives uh, are accountable to our relatives, uh, just like. Uh, for your family or my family, we're all adults and we're all accountable for our own actions. Minister Gurgis, as Minister of State for the Status of Women, uh, is, doing, is doing a good job. Uh, and, and as you she, have noticed... She bears no and, responsibility and, 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 for this? And, and, and as you've noticed, uh, well, do you bear responsibilities for the actions of, uh, of your family members? If a family member of mine was using my business my business, the CBC logo, to promote them. Yeah, I would well, say, you can't do that. That reflects badly on me. Don't you think that's, that's fair? That's the Conservative Party, and the Conservative Party today asked Mr. Jaffer to remove that logo from his website. Uh, okay, and one final thing. There's, will, the, will there be criminal charges against Mr. Jaffer under uh, the Criminal Code, Section 121, pretending to have influence? It's illegal. Will, will there be charges against him? What do you think? Well, as you know, there are authorities uh, that have that mandate uh, to make those decisions. Uh, we'll leave those decisions to those authorities. Uh, it's not something that obviously I can't speculate on.